Robin Dupree, Robin, welcome. Um, it's good to have you back, fighting so soon. Uh, after obviously what was quite a big disappointment uh, in October. Disappointment, yeah. I know you were hugely confident going in. Yes, massively confident. Um, when I got the phone call from Mickey, like I was saying before, um, I was happy with the opponent. Well, it didn't really matter who I was fighting, but I was happy with the opponent. I was happy with the toll, happy with the date, everything. I was so confident. And uh, look, no excuses, the better man won, that was that. So. Well done to Luke and hopefully he goes on to bigger things. And yeah. How did you see, I know you've only watched it once back, but how did you feel uh, in the fight up, up until the knockout and actually including the knockout? Yeah, um, stoppage, um, not knockout. Stoppage, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, um, I felt really comfortable. I, when I got in there the first round, I, I remember I was. I remember the first round and I think, God, he's strong. Like, I just feel his presence. It's like, you know, it felt like, felt like when you're a young kid and you're sparring, you're sparring a man, you like a man in front of me, like if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely felt the weight, and I know people for years, which we'll probably talk about in a little while. Um, I felt, God, these are strong. And um, one we got once we got going into the flow and stuff, I just thought, no, it's box I enjoy. I really was generally enjoying myself. I was living every bit of it, um, and, and I really felt like I was doing what I wanted to do. Yeah. Up to the third round, I thought I'm doing what I want to do. I'm enjoying myself, throwing uppercuts, going for a little dance, moving around. Truly, truly, was enjoying myself. Um, the third round, uh, sorry, the fourth round, going into the fourth round, I got caught with a shot. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't see it coming, didn't feel it, I was just, I'm on the floor for. And I got straight back up, you can see, if you watch it back, I wasn't really hurt. Um, what am I down here for? And obviously, watch it back, got caught on top of the head. Yeah. Which one, like, he thought I was rolling low, it wasn't like an illegal shot or anything yeah, like yeah. that. I got up and then, you know, I was like, I'm gonna stay here and box him a little bit now, and, and that's when. I should have stayed, stayed to do what I was doing on my back foot, yeah. um, boxing long and elusive, and then um, as the fight progressed, um, he just threw more shots and was just a little bit was a lot stronger than me on the inside. And uh, considering the size difference, I was better on my back foot and and then in the in, in, in inside engaging. So things obviously work on in training and stuff like that. And obviously, yeah, when the referee stopped it, um, again, uh, I felt his power. I felt the guy was strong. Wasn't like on the floor, wasn't it? I was stopped on my feet. Yeah, you yeah. remember it was an uppercut, and then he threw a barrel of shots, which anyone you catch them with a shot and you carry on throwing shots, and I'm not the referee. That. The referee has to stop it. And I, I'm, not argue, I'm not arguing with that. The better man won the night, and that's. Do you uh, think because he'd already put you down that the referee was just looking to. Uh, um, make... Obviously, they're, 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 they're an experienced referee and they know their job, so I'm not going to say. You know, I mean, I'm involved with boxing a lot myself, and um, you can see things, and sometimes people sparring with that will do, mate. You're getting caught there, and no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. You might be fine now, but seven or eight shots down the line, you might not be. So, yeah, I wasn't hurt, as in, uh, I wasn't, you know, like I couldn't get to, but as soon as the, the referee jumped in, I, if you watch it back, I was like, no, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I knew when he was throwing shots, I should have thrown back, yeah. and at that point, where he was on top of me, I just could, couldn't. So, um, it, was, it was my fault, so it was. You know, well done to Luke. So, and referee, it was one of those things. So, I'm not going to complain about it. It is what it is. So. Okay, well, we'll move on. You did briefly touch on the, 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 the size. He, I Massive. mean, he was sort of a noticeably bigger frame than you. And, yes. And he's yes. quite a. Uh, I mean, even for a boxer, he's quite muscular. You yes, know, do you yes, know what I mean? of course. Um, getting in there, straight away, I mean, for years and years and years as an amateur as well, when I first started boxing, I was light heavy. Um, and then. Went up to super, I ain't gonna go to super heavyweight. Battling <laughs> oh. my weight for years, and um, that's another subject that I won't talk about. But uh, um, yeah, I felt massive size difference. And for so long, I've got away with it, inspiring. Well, at, on, uh, purely on your boxing ability? Ability, and in, in the fights, but whether I thought, um, I've, I've had some good fights with people with some good records, I've had some fights with people with German type records. Um, and I've always, even if you just get away with it, and I'm, you know, not in an arrogant way, but I'm confident in my ability, you know. And the idea is, um, is every fight we're going to drop, uh, every fight until if we can make light heavyweight, we're going to try that. And we truly are got. Um, You're going to try and come in lighter in light, every, every fight. Every, next couple, two, three fights, and come in lighter. And if we get to a stage where we're like, okay, um, I'm too weak, I don't feel strong in this weight, or strong, inspiring, then we're going to, we're doing weights as well. Yeah. But, um, bulk up a bit more muscle, more of a muscle frame, right. then uh, a little bit more than what I am now, which is a uh, comfortable weight, <laughs> let's just say. But again, you know, uh, uh, for so long I've got away with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, like they say sometimes I lost, it's a win sometimes, and it was. And one thing I took from that fight, the feedback from friends and family, people don't even know on the street stopping me, and people inside boxing messaging me, and it was really, really nice, and uh, some good feedback. Robin, it was a great fight, you was out boxing him, you was this, you was that, you are a great boxer, 
but your weight, everything, everything, every, even positive, negative, it all ended the same thing. Your weight, get down, get down, get down. It's been for seven years. There is an online issue there, I'm not going to get into yeah. it, but um, we're slowly working on things and um, it's coming down slowly. So uh, oh, we'll talk about my new trailer in a second as well. Yeah, so I was going to say that all starts on, uh, on February the 10th at your yes. call, uh, Titanium Show. It's been announced today that Phil Bowes is headlining that oh, with wicked. a Great Commonwealth fire. title eliminator. Oh, great. So he's, he's a great boxer, he is, so yeah, yeah wicked. So that'll be good. Um, what have you been doing for this? What are you working on for this fight? Now, you said to me on the phone the other day, there's no way I'm losing this. I'm not losing this not one. This fight. I'll give up, you know what I mean? No, um, to be honest, um, so with my last fight, obviously, people know that I was trained by Nigel. Um, He's, he, well, just how he is, he's got, he's got a severe illness of cancer. I remember when I won the challenge belt um, a couple, uh, last October, actually, got in the ring, gave my belt. But to be honest with you, the reason why I did that for is obviously he got me there, and, and if I just watched this and I uh, mean, it's in the mice or whatever, I didn't know how long he's going to be with us for. So my first time I wanted to go to him because in case if he passes because of the illness, the cancer he's got, it has spread it. And I wanted to say thank you. And after that fight, I should have, there and then, we should have sat down and spoken, parted ways, and because he was ill. And it's hard for him to train me and other. And, and but other presumably, people. he doesn't want to give it up. He doesn't, he doesn't want to give, give you up, up, and he's devoted. Yeah, yeah, no, he is. And um, but certain things we couldn't do in training because he was ill. He was an ill man. Yeah. So, um, so we carried on through the year. Obviously, fighting for a brain, and we had a big fight in October again. A year later, um, when the fight got that, it wasn't regimented training with him because of the illness and stuff like that. And I knew I was obviously I knew I was having a big fight, you know, life changing fight. Let's just say, what well, you know, I'm going to get back up there. But at the time, you know, it's still life changing. You know, a massive title fight, Commonwealth title, you know. Mm. Um, so live I, on Channel Five. Live on Channel Five as well. You know what I mean? Um, so I contacted me a few people, and one of the people was was Mark Patrick, my old amateur trainer, which is now a pro. He's a trainer in West Ham in the evenings for the amateurs, right. and he's also a pro trainer as well. And when I was with him as an amateur, we had loads of fights together. Mark. Is a, is the best way. Rocky, Rocky films, Mickey, that's Mark. Mickey is Mark, that's, he's, he's <laughs> rude, he's horrible, he's, no, no. He's, he's straight down the line with me. He don't take none of my rubbish. And so, training with Mark, it's, it's been full on. It There's really no has. cheating him, basically. There's no, literally, we go to the gym, we train, uh, ticking over Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now we're doing a Sunday as well, training four days a week, boxing. And then in between, I'm doing conditioning training as well. So, and every time we go to the gym, we, we like literally there's no messing around there's no like oh break between shadow boxing and pad work or bag work straight in the rings so, you know um, we start sparring this week as well I think my first spars tomorrow um, so we start sparring and four weeks of sparring which I do my sparring just like a block of sparring four yeah. weeks out uh, five weeks out from fight four weeks I'll spar between 60 and 70 rounds and then I'll have a week of no sparring a week before the fight yeah and we're just going to, that's, yeah, so he's, 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 he's literally he's on me. We're running, what did you run today? And I need it, I need, not, I don't know if other people relate to me other boxers and stuff, but I need to be, I'm not afraid of my trainer, but that mutual respect, yeah. you know, he's not going to take rubbish. And if I go in there, and I'm, I'm, I'm a lot heavier than I was the day before, and I haven't done my run, which I do my runs anyway, I'm quite religious with things like yeah. that. And he'll say, right, go home, what's the point of training you? And you're like, uh, you know, he's not getting up and out of it, you know, like, yeah. you know, boxing is not really, unless you make it big, it's not loads of money in it, it's not about the money for him, he wants you to do well, to do yeah. well, you have to do the right stuff, and uh, Mark, and I'm so happy I've got Mark on my corner, because it's hard, there is such, there's days I'm like, damn, this is this is double, I've never done anything like this since I was an amateur, even then, this because I'm a pro now, because he ain't got to train 30 people, it's just me, yeah. it's like, I've well, 30 times what I used to get ag of him, and I need it, Mark's a great trainer, knows his stuff, and, um, He's trying to correct certain stuff in my boxing, correct certain stuff and bring my hands back up, which I got caught and obviously an inside work with Luke, which I wasn't great at. We know that's going to be a slow process working on the inside. Yeah. So we're doing that. So uh, and then obviously working on my strong point on the outside a little, a little bit. So yeah. So I'm looking You're going to make a statement on the term. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to go out the, under instructions. So you know, don't get me wrong. It's like anything. If something happens and I feel I need to go back to my old ways, I will. Yeah. Um, I really, I would love to look. I've got. They got a great knockout ratio. Let's be honest, one knockout in like you know 13 fights, you know, it's not great. Um, that's because I'm usually dancing and moving around. Mark is working on stuff to stop people, but Mark said, "Don't look for it." So we're just going to do our best and uh, sit down on our shots a bit more. And hopefully, I, I want to make a massive statement. I want to make. I mean, I, I, that last fight I lost. Mm -hmm. I think like what people told me, I thought I made a bit of a statement anyway. But I want to win and make a statement this time. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that's that's the aim. So yeah, I, I want to get back in there, get back into it, and then hopefully. Not wait three, four months or even longer. I want 
literally have a chat with Mickey afterwards, like we spoke before Adam. I hope we get out of him six or eight weeks after that and just regular fighting. And every time I'm regular fighting, the weight will come down. And then and then eventually we get to a stage where we go, right, we're going to stay cruiser, we're going light heavy, we'll go for a title either way. I mean, it's a nice way to myself. You know, I've been doing it now for a few years. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, 13 fights in, one loss, 12 wins. Um, push forward, really. Get, my, get, get a fight back in. Get my feet wet, you know. Enjoy myself a little bit. Um, yeah, you're at that. You're at that point now yeah, where you need to be pushing, up, kicking on, having the, having the title, title fights, fights and, and risking it. I'm basically, risking it. you know, I'm happy, I'm happy that um, I lost. Well, I'm not happy I lost. I mean, I know where I am in my stage. I don't want to do to get back up to that level again because that was a massive opportunity, and I can't thank Mickey enough. And I said to you, like, such a nice thing. Yeah. Even after the fight, I said sorry to Mickey, and you know, thanks, you know. Um, yeah, I, I, no, I know the way in. You turned up and you. You were your normal self, happy, yeah. and, and you went to go and shake Luke's hand. And Mickey went, you're supposed to be fighting him tomorrow! No, no, I know, Mickey, but yeah, Mickey, said that to me. You went to shake his hand, alright, mate? And I, I don't take it personal, I really don't. If you took it personal, like... Well, I think that rubbed off on, on the team, because Paddy, Luke's coach, was, was, you know, saying what a nice bloke, gentleman you are on Twitter yesterday, you know? Oh, I appreciate that, thank you, Paddy. Yeah, no, um... I don't, I don't, don't take it aggressively. You know, I mean, I, do you know what a lot of people say to me, Robin? Who you fighting? Who you fight? Oh my, all oh, uh, an amateur pro. I don't know. Do you I think that know. helps you not getting over psyched in the ring? Massively. Because as a boxer, you don't get draw, sucked into a fight because you you're never I'm, yeah seeing that red mist. No, no, exactly. I think I mean I spar some people sometimes and they get angry in the ring. And think, I like get angry. I've had situations when I ain't gonna lie about it. I've got a bit angry. I've, you know, you need to take things personal. When you get angry, you throw shots. Yeah, if you don't if you don't hurt them there and then. What's going to happen in rounds two, three, four, and five, and six? I like, do you know what? That's yeah. what I really like boxing. I like moving around. I like feeling in control. I don't know. It's just a weird. I don't know. I don't take it personal. I don't get involved with any like online ban. I never. I don't care. Once it's not bad about me. Um, so yeah, me. Two thousand and eighteen yeah. is going to be a risk-taking year for Robin. Yeah, I think Dupree. it should be. I think. I think get back into it. One fight and every fight. Hopefully, tougher challenges on the way as well. For you know, and then. And you get to the stage where we go, right, Mickey, this is what we're going to do, straight into a title fight. And do you know what? I'll put my hands up if I, and I'll do my best. And I'll, you know, there's no point me saying I'm never going to lose, I've lost. But um, <laughs> I'll do my best and I'll win. And if I don't win, then I'll say, at least I tried. You know, yeah. sometimes in life you get to, see, even in not just boxing, but in everyday life, you, you, you want to do something, you start up a business, and it may fail or it may succeed, but at least you try it. Yeah. You know, and then no one never say, I'll oh, laugh at you, oh, you did this, you did that. Well, at least I tried, mate, and uh, did what I wanted to do. What are you doing? You know? So there's, there's a lot of fighters out there that don't get the opportunity, and um, or they get the opportunity, don't take it. And I don't want to be those fighters looking back at myself in years of time and go, oh, I did that, oh, I could have done that, or, but I didn't accept it, I didn't take that challenge, or I wanted this fight, that fight instead. So, and I think Mickey's a cool guy, and obviously yourself, you work with him and things like that, so you, you know where I'm coming from, you know yeah. where I am as a person, so I ain't got to lie to you. No. This is what, let's, let's go for it. So, yeah. So 2018, Robin Dupree, let's go for it. First step on that ladder. First on ladder, February 10th. 10th of Feb. Yeah, 10th of February, get out there and enjoy myself. And where can they get tickets from? People, people oh yeah, watching. you get tickets from me, uh, Robin. <laughs> um, <laughs> find me on Facebook or whatever. Um, we'll put the number on the bottom yeah, as well. Yeah, please do. And I could say a big thank you to a couple of people. Of course you can. A big obviously, thank you to yourself for interviewing me, taking your time, and obviously Mickey. Um, big thank you to Steve Kerridge at um, Bellas Park, where I'm trained now, trained for free there. I don't pay any membership or anything. They look after us with Mark, and uh, they're trying to get more pros up there. So thank you to Steve up at that gym. Um, thank you to the Art Boxing Studio, which I work for as well. Always looking after me if you need. And thank you to my sponsor, John Dickerson and Cordell. Um, just had lunch room today, actually. And uh, yeah, so just anything you need, Robin, just let us know shorts and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, just cool guys, just just good people, just good. Just thank you, man. Sounds like you've got a good team behind good, you. Really good, good people. So yeah. Excellent. All right, Robin. See you on the tenth, mate. See you on the tenth. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Cheers.